What is anti-aliasing and what does it do? Well, I'm here to explain to you for free because that's what I do. Uh, so I've got Dolphin emulator running right now and I'm emulating Skyward Sword. Mmm, it's a good game. Not really though. Um, I just picked up a fruit. Uh, so anyway, this is running at the default resolution of the Wii, but it's been upscaled to my 1080p monitor, so it's a little bit worse for wear, but you know, this is how it was originally intended to run. And you can see here that Link's body is pretty gross looking on the outline. Uh, it's pretty jagged looking and this guy over here is also pretty jagged looking. You can see how he sways that the lines that are changing are very noticeable. And that's because they're all diagonal lines. Now, anti-aliasing only affects diagonal lines. Straight down lines, pretty much for the most part, don't have anything to do with it. And that's because on a monitor that uses square pixels, <laughs> i.e. all monitors, um, it's easier to show a straight up and down or a straight across line because the, the pixels are square. And so that fits easily. But a diagonal line, it's essentially making stairs to represent a diagonal line because it can only use square pixels. And a lot of the time, even they're not perfectly lined up on the diagonal of each square to go down. So that's not, it's not smooth at all. And so because of this, it's quite noticeable that it's like diagonal lines are not truly diagonal because they're using square pixels. And so, oops, anti-aliasing combats this. And I have it on no anti-aliasing now and I'll turn it on to eight times. And you can see that oh, everything's smoothed out a bit here. And it's a lot nicer to look at. And this is because anti-aliasing takes the surrounding pixels on a diagonal line and colors them slightly so that it's it just smoothens out diagonal lines and that's all it does, but it does it quite well. Um, but it's not always necessary. So at the default resolution of the Wii, yeah, it's quite nice to have them smoothed out. But if I upscale the resolution, I turn off anti-aliasing again and upscale the resolution to four times that of the Wii and oh, for one, <laughs> all the textures and things look a bit nicer but anti-aliasing isn't at all necessary now. Uh, it's not on, and here it is on eight times. And the, dis the difference other than bombing my frame rate is negligible, it's just unnecessary, and that's because diagonal lines are using so many pixels now at this high resolution that you don't need to affect the surrounding pixels. There's a, there, are, there are enough pixels being affected by the diagonal line itself that it's unnecessary for you to um, add in anymore. And so that's what anti-aliasing does. It's uh, useful for low resolutions, but high resolutions, not even necessary. Um, and I hope that explains it to you. Hopefully it was like simple enough to understand. Uh, and there you go. I'm gonna immediately stop playing this game now, because it's just a, it's just friggin' a pain. This game is a pain to play. It's not even, just go over here and push this and then get the cat. Oh, I've done this so many times before. It's just such a lengthy intro. Anyway, alright, I'm gonna. <laughs> Thanks for watching.